Hi, I'm Kathy from the Plant Lady Nursery, and this week we are featuring roses. Roses are a great shrub. They are perennial, though here in Texas they tend to stay green year-round. They actually take their little nap in the heat of the summer. We have many different colors of roses. They come in all different colors. We have floribundas, and we have hybrid teas and we have knockout roses, we have drift roses, and we have carpet roses. We've got a lot of different kinds of roses. The only ones that I don't have right now are the climbing roses. Floribunda roses are a rose that has multiple blooms on each stem. A hybrid tea has a single bloom on each stem. They're also known as a long stem rose. All right, I have uh, two floribundas here and a hybrid tea. Roses are really easy to care for. People think that they're really hard, but they actually are really easy to care for. They need to have some fertilizer. They're hungry. So they would like to have some type of rose food uh, probably three to four times per year. They would want that in the spring, in the summer, fall, and then once during winter. You would want to prune roses in the heat of the summer. And then also, I like to prune mine on February 14th, just because I can remember that day. And uh, they do really good. They'll come back and just bloom and bloom and bloom. These, the reason why I picked roses for this week is because Mother's Day is coming up. And who doesn't want to have these beautiful roses for Mother's Day and give them? It's much better than cut flowers because you can always cut some of them off and bring them in the house when they're budded. Roses like to be deadheaded. When, the time to deadhead these roses, it's when you see the flower is gone, all the petals are gone, and you, this is called a rose hip. When you see these rose hips, you want to take those off. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a pair of sharp shears or scissors, and you're going to cut just below the first leaf on this branch. So you would snip that off and throw it away and continue on with all of the rose hips that are on these plants and that will help to promote bloom and new growth. Just want to let you know that your Floribunda roses and your hybrid tea roses will get quite tall. The knockout roses and the the drift roses and the carpet roses tend to stay smaller. I like to have my hybrid teas and my floribundas behind my knockouts and my drift roses. They, it just looks really pretty. So now that you know about roses and how to take care of them, now is a great time to plant them. Go out and get some. Thank you.